Hello, thank you so much for your purchase and your patience on my previous special. You are an Aquarius and you wanted me to focus on your love life and you had a particular question for me. Um, and you are dealing with a Scorpio man. I feel like you need to be cautious because this man may be selling you a troubling dream. I feel like for you guys uh, within this lifetime it's kind of like wrong timing. Um. I feel like this Scorpio man is really, really confused about what he wants from you, what he wants with his wife, what he wants, you know, with himself. And he feels very guilty. Very, very, very guilty. I am picking up that he is confused about you. Not trying to be funny. I do feel like he still cares for his wife. He still has some feelings there for her. And I feel, not trying to be mean, to a degree, he's kind of leading you on. It's kind of like he wants his cake and he wants to eat it too. And all you can do right now, you know, is trust his word because that's truly all you can do. He's not talking to you for a reason. And his absence is just letting you know, I want space. I'm confused. I don't know what to do right now. And I feel like you shouldn't chase after him. You should let him miss you. And I feel like he will come back. You know, you guys are going to rekindle this flame. But I do feel like you need to be careful and you need to put yourself first. Because once again, I feel like this is a man who wants his cake and he wants to eat it too. I feel like it's going to take some, not trying to be funny, some years before this divorce gets finalized. Because I feel like, yes, they do want a divorce from each other. But at the same time, they still care about each other. I, I just feel like he's kind of trying to win her back or she kind of doesn't want to stay. I feel like them two are just still connected. And, and you just need to just open up all your senses to this situation, to be quite honest with you. Because I feel like subconsciously, like something is telling you, I feel like I'm getting played or I just feel like I'm not you know, getting all the information that I need to get from this mail and that's because you aren't I feel like him cutting off all ties with you was to let you know how he truly feels for you because if he cared for you as much as he claimed he did you know he would have tried he would have still been there. I'm, I'm not saying this, you know, to make you feel bad. When I do my readings, I let angels speak through me. Okay? This is not sunny. <laughs> it's not. Um, I, I just feel like you, you need to be mindful of getting hurt. I, I mean, you're already hurt because he's not talking to you right now. And when he comes back... You need to let him know, like, I'm not tolerating this at all. You're showing up in the reverse. And yes, you know, he is going through a difficult time, but that's his issue. He put this all on himself. And I feel that honestly, the challenge is actually you and him coming together to create 
a stable relationship because like I've said I feel like he wants his cake he wants to eat it too I feel like his wife ex-wife whatever he wants to classify her as she's still going to be in the picture for a long time why because he still low-key wants her there now to answer your question what should you do I'm going to do another spread for this because I'm very curious You are a very beautiful woman and you need to understand that, okay? This is you. I feel like all I've heard from that card was I've been hurt before, devastation, but rising above those hurts and those devastations i feel like right now just even with love and just with life in general like it feels like you have to decide okay should i move should i stay should i stay with this person should i go should i quit my job like i just feel like you are questioning a lot in your life right now and this situation isn't making it any better you are seriously going through um a transforming time for the better and i feel like you will gain the justice that you deserve throughout these situations but I feel like you need to be mindful of the way you communicate with others and the way that you communicate with yourself we all talk to ourselves in our heads we all do this okay um and I just feel like you need to give yourself the insurance that you are fine you you just need that clarity that's honestly what you need the way that you feel for mr scorpio you feel very hurt and very betrayed by him try not to look for revenge on him because it's just going to backfire on you i feel like mr scorpio um he wants brighter days he he's looking for more clarity but i feel for right now he is just looking for gains like how can he benefit from this situation from this person he's coming off kind of greedy i hate i hate to say this he truly truly is the way that he feels about you he likes your power he likes i don't know why i'm hearing he likes your speed i feel like with speed how quickly you react to him how quickly you reply to him how you how available you are for him is what i'm picking up with this um he likes your passion for him he he likes that you kind of feels like you put him first or like you put him up at this sort of pedestal to be honest um but to answer your question should you stay or should you go i feel like with the two of swords it's honestly up to you I feel like you need to trust your gut and you need to listen to your intuition. Um, I, and I find this funny because the angels are truly like, Sonny, don't you say, don't you say nothing. I feel like this is truly up to you. I have gave I gave you an answer, <laughs> but it's totally up to you. I pulled out two extra cards. I feel like, once again, you shouldn't seek revenge on him. Um, you with you showing anger or maybe you crying to him not trying to be mean it isn't going to solve anything like it isn't going to change it isn't going to change anything because I, I do feel like you are going to explode on him I feel like you just need to pay attention to everything that's going on because truth is being revealed slowly and I feel like you just need to pay attention to all the messages and the signs that you've been receiving. Now I'm going to pull three cards for you and Mr. Scorpio. Important message which do you need to understand with this situation. Okay. Now, I'm going to read these cards. 
in the way spirit wants me to read it passion I'm not I'm not gonna read the um, subtitles with passion I feel like you you said that you felt like you guys were soulmates that may be the case um you can believe what you want to believe with with this whole soulmate deal but with the passion I just feel like lust um just having this physical attraction for somebody is what I'm picking up um feeling alive because he didn't truly feel alive in his previous or current marriage um I do feel like you guys shared a past life together. I truly, truly do with uh, reconciliation. Um, I feel honestly with this situation, put yourself first. Wedding. I feel like a major factor that is affecting this is due to the fact that he is already married. Um, I feel like you see potential of marrying him but you touch your losses unrequited love i feel like this is something that's going to get old to the both of you and i just i just truly feel like he isn't in love he's coming off as a bit of a moocher i just truly hate to say this um so i wish you the best of luck because i can tell that this situation is um you know very troubling for you but just open up your eyes because there's a lot of signs you're, you're just ignoring it you're truly truly ignoring it so hopefully you enjoyed this reading go luck with everything hope i hear from you soon take care bye